while ago, we did a video where we beat a Mario game as Pepino Spaghetti. And though there was some minor jank, we came to the consensus that Pepino was about two millimeters away from being Dio. Oh, not him. I, I meant the Italian word for God. Pepino is fast, he's tough, and depending on who you ask, he's attractive to boot. To quote a hilarious and poetic comment left on our first Pepino video by Maromania7, Conclusion. Most characters have games specifically designed to make them appear strong. Pepino's game is specifically designed to make him appear mortal. That's beautiful. With multiple runs in Pepino 64 going about as well as they can, and one of the runs almost being lower than Mario's own world record if I didn't flub it, we could have walked away from this concept and left with our heads held high. But then it happened. I was approached with the same exact question and demand. This obviously kept me up at night, scratching at the back of my mind, aching like the ending of the movie My Girl. Look it up, it's pretty bad. Put his glasses on. Sonic stages are a completely different Ultra Beast when compared to Mario stages or Pepino stages. I mean, sure, Pepino could dominate the Pizza Tower, the Mushroom Kingdom, and most wars that occurred due to global conflict, but would our beloved Italian Italian Dreamboat be able to survive the harsh climate that is a Sonic game? I'm too dumb to be a video game modder, so I knew I had to search high and low across the internet to see if there was a way to answer our question. And finally, after weeks of searching through every crack and crevice, and a ton of Rouge the Bat fan art, I mean like a ton, I actually found a way to answer our question. Well. Kind of. This is Sonic Robo Blast 2, a free-to-play Sonic fan game that's been around since November of the year 2000. It may not be a full-blown official Sonic title, but if Sonic Mania has taught us anything, Sonic fans can make Sonic games better than Sonic's own parents. It has a full campaign, controls as smooth as butter, and a deep, thriving modding community that very recently added Mr. Spaghetti himself. This game is considered by many to be the greatest Sonic fan game of all time. And as someone who's played quite a few, it is definitely in the top five. This is a Sonic game, complete with instant deaths if you're not careful, boss fights with Eggman trying out whatever nonsense he slapped together for this exact moment, and of course speedy sections that could actually turn Pepino into Pepinot, cause they'll chop his dick. So can Pepino Spaghetti beat a Sonic game? And would it even even be fun trying to do so? Well, we're about to find out. And spoiler alert, this is not gonna be pretty. Our journey begins as most of these do, by being impressed by the sheer level of dedication behind this mod. Pepino Spaghetti, baby! The beast who created this, Nicholas Rickies, made full-blown Pepino Spaghetti, complete with super jumps, momentum cancels, dash grabs, mock speed, butt slams, and even an animated Pepino head that shows you his current state. You can even do that awkward curl up into a ball move and roll around. He's basically Sonic the Hedgehog. We don't even gotta do the video anymore. Pack it up everyone, let's go home. After playing around in our tutorial area for a little, we headed to Green Flower Zone, the first out of eight total zones needed to complete this game. We slipped and slid around getting a feel for the controls, and even though I was having a lot of fun, hey, I already knew we were about to face a dive situation. Pepino is very, very slippery. And this isn't the mod's fault. Everyone knows that in Pizza Tower, controlling Pepino can sometimes feel like wearing roller skates in a hallway doused in canola hoyo. This wasn't really a problem in Mario 64 because most Mario games aren't really too punishing if you make a wrong turn. But Sonic games are a lot different and require precise platforming, which was going to very quickly become a nightmare. We fight Eggman and after a few well-timed yet poorly aimed grab dashes, we defeat him and head into our second zone, Techno Hill. Though this area was going to be harder than the first, it was still early in the game so I wasn't too worried. The first gimmick of this stage was these air vents that blast you upwards, but you won't see me use those because Pepino can just jump to the moon if he has to. We do a bit of sick 
second awesome speed platforming, and whenever things clicked, it was really fun. I also learned how to do Pepino's uppercut, which was extremely helpful because it's an extra jump. But for some reason, it was binded to the left and right face buttons of my controller? Yeah, I don't know either. We head into the factory and hit our first precision platforming section of the game. We found the correct way. What's this do? Okay, I got it. This time. This time, for real. There you go. Awesome. We bumble around this factory maze thingy that I don't think is supposed to be a maze, but I have the sense of direction and memory of a goldfish. Where was I? Oh, yeah. We bumble around this factory maze thingy that I don't think is supposed to be a maze, but I have the sense of direction and memory of a goldfish. Our first major Pepino skip is this section right here, where you're supposed to painstakingly climb up the pipes to get to the top. But instead, this happened. Is that it? Did I do it? Did I successfully skip the section? We finish up act one and things were already starting to heat up. I thought as Pepino I would be blazing through this, but I guess not. Even as Pepino, it's still pretty hard. I need to stop thinking that I can just Pepino my way through everything because a lot of the platforming is still very, uh, very specific. As soon as I climb through the second act, I come to a sad realization. I feel like mock running is an int. I feel like... I'm going too fast for, for a normal plebeian brain to maneuver it. Something that's very weird about this one is uh, how Pepino is 2D in a 3D space, right? Is that not odd to look at? Then we get lost again, and we bumble around this factory maze thingy that I don't think is supposed to be a maze, but I have the sense of direction. Okay, all right, you get the joke. Wait, 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 wait for it. Yeah! Okay, I pressed the wrong button there. I need to generate mock. Oh, it's so hard to generate mock speed. There you go. And now there's the end of the level, right? Dude, if I just use that super jump, I'll actually be able to skip most of the stages. I mean, just from like a platforming perspective, right? Sonic stages are naturally just so much bigger and Mario stages are naturally so much smaller. Since one of those is a collectathon and the other one isn't, right? So it's very interesting that Pepino, who's just a god in collectathons, going through a Sonic stage doesn't feel as crazy. We fight the second Eggman boss, which is again very easy, and with that, we're done with our second zone. Only six were left, but unfortunately, our run was about to go downhill from here, because the next area was Deep Sea Zone. Oh boy, a water temple. Please help me. The only real advantage that Pepino had in this stage was the ability to climb up the wall if he was ever about to drown. Besides that, though, this was one of those hyper-specific stages that only wants to be played one way. Okay, we're going this way. Hey, awesome. We get through the first act pretty quickly by just playing the same way that Sonic would. And act two is more of the same. Okay, I'm gonna come this way. Oh. Oh, there you go. My brain is folding, kind of. For every fold my brain develops, another bug occurs in the game. And then we do another Pepino skip. I think if I could change anything about this mod, it would be allowing Pepino to hit mock faster. It's so hard to hit mock on a lot of these stages. But there's, there's got to be a way, and I just suck. And, I, and I'm just going to figure it out, and I'm going to feel like a f***ing idiot. Oh, that thing was gonna smash me. It was a bigger version of the dick smashing machine. Okay, there you go, I'm popping off. I missed the checkpoint, I don't give a shit up, Pepino. This looks important. What did that do? And I died and I missed that checkpoint because I got cocky <laughs> and we're gonna be way further back. Oh shit! We continue along the stage and hit this section here where you're supposed to let the water push you towards the goal. And it makes me laugh because Pepino just kind of looks like the water is too chilly. We get to the end of the stage and fight our third Eggman. And at this point, we can make Omelette Man, am I right? Nobody gives a shit! This Eggman was a little bit harder than the other two, but I'm not really talking about these fights because Pepino just kind of beats him like he's owed money. Next up, we got Castle Eggman Zone. This is 
the stage I was the most excited for because it's the most vertical section of the game. So theoretically, we'd be able to do a lot of Pepino skips, but things don't always go according to theory. And I'm just gonna let this section speak for itself. Oh! Pepino! Pepino, please! Pepino. Holy shit. Yes! Let's go, baby! I think I just skipped a huge portion of the game. Oh, this thing throws you! I thought this was one of those spike traps! Pepino doesn't go as far as Sonic the Hedgehog. Here's a screen I never thought I'd see. A game over screen for Pepino Spaghetti. God has bled, and I had to bear witness. I knew that I may have bitten off way more than I can chew. Sonic level design has actually taught us that, believe it or not, there is such thing as too fast. But we weren't going to give up, so we dusted off our chef hat, and we kept going. Dude, this game is just leading me every which way and i feel like the game is trying to tell me like hey idiot go here and i am just not listening because i'm fucking pepino new area baby take me video game yes hey this is new okay cool all right we're good okay oh okay we're good why don't i just super jump i'm like doing the actual platforming what am i doing dude there you go as god intended Okay, right there. This is the next area right here. I can't go this way because there's an invisible wall. Maybe I can go in from the back. Okay, I guess. And now it's like, hey dude, the earth is collapsing beneath your feet. It actually is gonna kill me. Oh, sh what do you mean, mamma mia? Oh, that's so mean of them to put springs facing the other direction on the bridge. They Pepino proof this game. These son of a bitches. They could try all they want, but it'll never work. All right, we're going that way. Pepino, my beautiful angel. Climbing all the way to the top. Oh, this section looks not Pepino proof. Oh. Please, Pepino, I need you to generate. I need you to generate Moxer. I need you to become faster, please. Jeez, it's so hard to generate. Don't care. That one doesn't have to die. I can tell he has a family and kids at home. I won't kill that one. I can tell this one doesn't have kids. Sick. Okay, that way. Whoo! Okay. <laughs> Oh, that's so tilting. Dude, I, I think I'm gonna say it. Pepino just isn't built for Sonic. Oh, I gotta go that way. Never mind. I take it back. Should I try to do something sick? Are those rings or spaghetti? They're spaghettios, actually, imagine. God, I gotta do this section so awkwardly. Because Pepino doesn't get as much lift from those things. He has like heavier gravity. All those rigatonis really weighing them down. It's so awkward to do certain sections of this because you have to do it the Pepino way, which is interesting. All I need him to do in this game is to generate mock faster. If I could just generate mock faster, then that would be it. But I will say the moment that Pepino clicks in this game, it feels so good. It's just, it doesn't happen often. In fact, it, it may happen too infrequently. <laughs> Those moments are fucking terrifying. There you go. This is it. This is how you do it. Yes! I skipped that entire section, dude! Holy sh- With both acts down, it was finally time to fight Castle Eggman's Eggman. And finally get the heck out of here. And though I thought it'd be a breeze like the last three, this time I was going to be severely humbled. How do I hit him? I have to like frame perfect dive in. Oh, ring. Hell yeah. No, I, I, I just gotta be better. I, I honestly just gotta be him. Wow. Okay, I think it's physically impossible actually. Okay. Like, it. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, mama mia. As long as I have one ring on me, this is physically possible. Okay. Oh, God. Like, it's, I don't know what to do. I just need to be better than I am, I guess. Uh-oh. Very bad. Very bad spot we're in. Oh, my God, Pepino. Oh, my f***ing depth of field. 
shield! Holy sh- This is definitely the first wall I'm hitting. I tried to- Oh, I did it! Oh, that was so sick! Oh, is that it? Oh, holy sh- Oh, no, he's not dead yet. This is just not possible. Please, I can't see him. Oh, this is so hard. This is so unnecessarily difficult. I wish that there was something I could do different, but there really is not something I could do different here, I don't think. Oh, man. My God. Oh. I'm dead. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Yeah, there's no extra rings, and no matter what, to hit him, you have to take damage. All right, I have one ring now. Okay, and now that one ring has gone up here. Oh, I could go up here. What the f If you run into one of these guys, they shove you, which is kind of funny. All right, you want to cheat, buddy? Let's cheat. Woo okay, we're good. And the guy shoved me. No, dude. I'm going to die. I'm gonna die because a random dude shoved me. Oh, that's so brutal, dude. Yeah, like, I know how to beat this guy. I just, like, look, right now what we could do is we could just wait for him to be in the perfect angle. Nobody shoves you on this part of the bleachers. Doing it like this should technically have 0% chance of failure. Right? Now I could just wait here again. You know, there's another one. Okay! Now we only have four more zones to complete, and I have already died so many times. Fortunately for us, the next stage was going to give us a little bit of a breather. Arid Canyon Zone is another pretty vertical stage, only this time the direction was kind of obvious. So via spamming super jumps and super dashes, using wall grabs and throwing caution to the wind, we were able to make quick work of Act 1. And honestly, this was the first time in our run that Pip Pino felt good. Maybe it's the stage, or maybe it's the relief after having Eggman bust my cheeks for nearly an hour. But Arid Canyon Zone gave me glimpses of Pepino's former glory, and I was actually having fun. Like this section right here is supposed to be somewhat slow, waiting to grab onto conveyor belts. Pepino can just skip it by being a mutant. Act 2 wasn't bad either, although it did have a few cart sections that Pepino just couldn't work around. Still, it was smooth sailing, and definitely added a much-needed second wind into the old Pepino gas tank. The next boss was surprisingly not Eggman. It was Fang on a moving train, and this fight is just beautiful. I mean, look at it. It nearly brings a tear to my eye, versus the last fight which brought a tear to my ass. So hard! We finish up the Fang boss fight, and now things are going to get serious, because theoretically, we're starting our last act of the game. Red Volcano zone, which leads us into Eggman's ship, Egg Rock Zone, which is Eggman's ship, and then of course, Black Core Zone, which is all boss fights. I knew that now was the time to lock in. We start Red Volcano Zone with a newfound confidence, and instantly get grabbed out of my charge by a bird and get dropped into lava because I suck. That was such a cool thing that just happened. We continue forward, and for some reason, while trying to make a jump, I hit an invisible wall and die. Knowing that this game wasn't going to play fair, I knew I had to act like a vengeful spouse and find a way to cheat too. We do some precision platforming and honestly, I'm playing kinda nice. We get to this big lava section and I realize that I got enough iframes after taking damage to run on the lava, generate mock speed, and super jump. But just as I started feeling confident, I fell into the lava yet again and turned this pepino into a roasted chili. We try again and slowly make our way through some more precision platforms. Then we do our goofy lava damage super jump skip and keep our momentum. We do another cool super jump pepino skip and the end of this stage was so close that I could almost taste it. And dare I say it, this taste was caliente. We ride these weird balls through a corridor which has nothing to do with our challenge, but I thought this visual was good, so look at it. Then I found out something I wish 
wish I knew this entire time. Oh, he could run on lava! We enter the rocket ship and head into space, which would be a fitting end for this run, because Peppino was a star, baby. And now it was time to give Eggman his final beatdown. You want to know the first big gimmick for this stage? Being upside down. There's also laser walls and low gravity, and navigating all of this as Peppino was not going to be fun. Since this is the actual final stage of the game before the boss rush, I think it's time for an epic montage. Hey, nice try, loser. You think you're going to be able to shoot me? I'm Italian. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whoa, we're good. Falling up. Oh, hey. Whoa. Okay, that's it. What do you want from me, son of a bitch? Oh, a thing spawns? What is that? It spawns and then disappears? Am I stupid? What, what's going on? Dude, are they asking me to do precision platforming? This is brutal. Oh my god. Oh, we got so lucky. Oh my god, thank heavens. I could feel my blood was already gonna boil. Oh. Oh, I'm popping off somehow. We're at the end of a Pepino game. Kind of. Sonic game. Pepino game. Eh. They both work, technically. Okay. What? What the f just happened? Maybe? Left side? Left side's open now? This is new. I haven't seen this. Wow! Insta death! Cool. I need to not be a fucking idiot here. Oh god. Okay, whatever. Is this more precision platforming, bro? Oh boy, precision platforming upside down, chat. What a what a wonderful day. Thank you. I would like nothing more than to be upside down precision platforming. Oh, what? What now? Oh shit. Um, let's see. Okay. What is this now? Like, even the game knows that it's being stupid, because now it's starting to give me arrows. After all that we just went through. Now, this one doesn't let me stick to the... Are we all the way back here? Video game, are we all the way back here? Can I have a, a fucking checkpoint at least? Maybe I'm running the wrong fucking way. And now, all we had to do was the final boss rush. The first section of the boss rush was literally a rush. We had to race Metal Sonic through an obstacle course of death, which would test every single Pepino mechanic I have learned thus far. It was time for us to put everything we've learned together and put all of Pepino's street credit on the line. And now there's lava in the upside down. All right, let's go. I'm gonna just cheat. I'm gonna beat the shit out of this guy by cheating. I remember beating this this is Sonic was a nightmare. Pepino, stop, please! Okay, now this is the lava section. And bro, full on just caught up. Because of a couple of funny little goofy mechanics. I can make that if I have rings, which I can. I just gotta stop being a freaking idiot. Please, Pepino, my beautiful angel. Holy sh! If I touch the wall there, I die. Okay. Huh? Huh? We're almost there. I almost got it. I almost got it solved. Oh my god, I'm not gonna make it. Okay, I gotta be careful here. Okay. Go, Pepino, go! Go, Pepino! Run! Yes! Okay! Ah! And now all we had to do was finish the boss fight so that we could be free of Pepino Gaming for possibly the rest of my life. And I couldn't be more excited. Take that, you bitch. This guy stinks. What are you gonna do? You gonna shoot me? Kill him. Aye. 
Okay, this one looks like it might hurt a little extra hard. Okay, sick. Bros are actually kind of cooking here. Oh no, there goes my ring! Is that it? Nope, and now I'm dead. Oh! 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 Enough! Oh, oh, did I win? Did I win? Oh, he's dead. I'm out of here. Go, Pepino. Is this like a hurry up and escape before the earth blows up type deal? What the? What is? What is this? Eggman? You're done, Buster. I'm going over here. Okay, that hurts me. Come step over here, you. S Ooh, sick. Sick attack there, little Eggman. Oh, wait. Take that. Take this, you dumb. Bitch. Take this. Dude, I am cooking the shit out of this guy. Oop. And then I'm getting literally cooked by this guy as well. I would like that ring. Hell yeah. Sick. I love how that happened. Okay, maybe I could just punch him while he's electrified. Come over here, bud. Come stand right over here. There you go. One. Okay. Almost. Two. Almost. Three. Almost. Oh, we got him. I'm so beast. Damn. Bro really died. And with that being done, we were finally free of this wretched thing. So what exactly did we learn? Pepino is a wonderful character, and in the right circumstances, his moveset can be used to create some of the gnarliest movement tech we have ever seen. But there is such thing as flying too close to the sun. Speed and anger can only get you so far, and sometimes they'll take you too far, and ride off a cliff into a death pit so that you get a game over. So can Pepino Spaghetti beat a Sonic game? Of course he can, but not everything is about winning. Sometimes it's just about fun, and I'm sure if you mash it hard enough you can make the Pepino square block fit into the Sonic circle hole, but don't... don't do that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this is your first time watching anything like this, I actually have a playlist of other videos that I've done like this. I also have this playlist where I look for good clones of games that are already popular, and honestly, I've found some bangers in there too, so I would highly recommend you check that out. Besides that, thank you for watching. I love you. Hi, oh, hey, Peter. <laughs> I'm still recording.